I will talk about comparison of linear modularization criteria of networks using relational networks. So, what's the introduction and the objective? The objective is, uh, is uh, to compare the partition found by different linear modularization criteria. But why? Uh, why are we interested in, in this talk? Because uh, nowadays we can find networks everywhere uh, in biology, in computer programming in uh, marketing and different fields and uh, they become bigger and bigger so it's important to understand them and to analyze them uh, directly is very difficult so uh, what we have to do is to uh, decompose the network in smaller, smaller components more homogen uh, homogeneous within them but heterogeneous with the rest of the network and this process is called modularization. So um, different modularization criteria have been proposed and in this talk we are going to compare the partition form uh, by those uh, criteria. So uh, but, uh, first of all I will define uh, what uh, modular community is. And uh, during this talk I will uh, I will use the words module, cluster or community uh, as synonyms, look at uh, this network. Uh, we can see in yellow and in, in rose and in, uh, in blue the community. So it, uh, they are only a group of uh, nodes densely connected within them, but scarcely connected with the rest of the network. Uh, what is the mathematical model that we are going to use? Is the relational uh, we are going to base it upon the relational notation. So, uh, modularization, uh, modularization a graph is, uh, we, we said that it is the same as defining define a partition on its set of nodes, but in relational anal analysis, that is an equivalence relation. And an equivalent relation uh, can be mathematically represented by a matrix X and a square matrix size n, where n is the number of nodes, and whose general term is defined as follows. So x, uh, the general uh, term x i i prime is one if uh, the nodes i and i prime are in the same cluster at zero otherwise. So we are going to represent our modularization criteria as a function to maximize f, a function of a, which is the um, adjacency matrix of, of the graph and the function depends also on x which is the, uh, the partition the equivalence relation and obviously x uh, has to ver uh, verify the contents of an equivalent relation so binarity, relativity, symmetry and transitivity but, but to solve this uh, linear pr uh, pro problem is uh, NP complete so we are going to choose heuristics to approximate the optimal partition. But why are we interested in linear criteria? Because they have good properties. The first one is that they are all separable. Uh, the fact that they are separable uh, it means only that they can be written in the form, uh, the equation four, as a uh, <coughs> scalar product of a function of the original uh, data that is phi a i i prime and uh, x the the unknown x. So uh, besides that, um, linear criteria can verify as well the property of balance. They are balanced if they can be written in this form, where the function phi and phi bar are a function of the original data only, and they are non-negative, and especially the sum is positive. So uh, a linear cr uh, criteria is balanced if it verifies those uh, properties. So we, we will see why is it important the property of balance. So for example, here we have a graph. Uh, let's suppose the phi bar, they are all, all new or zero. So the optimal partition will be the raw partition. That means that all the nodes will, will, will be clustered together. And uh, what it happens in phi bar, if phi uh, is, is equal to zero, it doesn't exist. 
So all the nodes will be separated. That will be the optimal partition. So that, that's the importance of the property of balance. And besides that, if uh, there is a criterion where the sum of terms uh, phi is equal to this uh, sum of, term, of terms phi r, so the criterion is a new model. And the consequence of being a new model is that the criterion has a resolution limit. But what does it mean to have a resolution limit? It means that it, uh, when n, the number of, no of nodes, tend to infinity, the, the criterion fails to identify it a cl a communities that, that are living clearly defined. So uh, here we have a list of, uh, of three well-known uh, criteria. Existing criteria, the first one is the sun color set criteria, which was introduced in the, introduced in the previous talk. Uh, it, is more, it, it is born in voting theory. The second one is the Ogmins, Kosinski, and Sadrosi, which is uh, simply a ponderation of every, uh, every term of the common set criterion with a parameter alpha, which is defined by the, the user. We will, we will see to the interpretation of this parameter later. Uh, the third one is the uh, newman human criterion, which is uh, the best known. The newman human criterion is simply <coughs> a comparison of the original graph with a random version <coughs> of, of, of this. And the random version is a version of the graph where the edges are independently distributed. So it's a deviation to independent. He wants to uh, the character uh, the character wants to maximize the the the, the, the dependence uh, the, the real graph to the independent situation. Here we have three new criteria uh, proposed. Uh, the first one is the deviation to uniformity. So this one this time we have the original graph and we, and we want to compare it to another uh, to a version of the graph where the edges are uniformly distributed. That means that all the nodes have the same degree. So there is no community uh, structure. So we want to maximize this deviation. The second one is the uh, deviation to undetermination. Uh, that's the formula. It was introduced uh, in the previous speech. So we want to maximize the, the real graph to a graph having the same properties by verifying the structure of undetermination. And the third one is the balanced modularity, which is here we have uh, the newman german modularity, the first part, and we have an additional term where we consider the matrix R and its random version, whose expression is given, the, is given here. Uh, just to understand, we have uh, uh, here some uh, examples. For a, a graph uh, following the uniform structure is like a lattice, like a grid. So all the, uh, all, the, all the nodes have the same degree. And a graph which uh, has the uh, determination structure has an important property where uh, we, if we take any pair of nodes, for example, let, let, let's take number two and number three. They have loops, one and three, and the edge uh, connecting them has a, a weight which is the arithmetic uh, mean of the loops, so two. And we can see that here, the general formula, here we have the, un the undetermination situ situation and the independence. So here we have the weight of this edge is the arithmetic mean of the loops, and here is the geometric mean. So uh, we have already said that. So uh, for a for a graph uh, where all the nodes have the same degree, we said that the newman given modularity and the other criteria have the same behavior. Now, let's see some results. 
So uh, I took uh, two real graphs called just a uh, sub, sub network of the internet. N is the number of nodes, and M is the number of edges. So <coughs> we have the criteria, and here we have the number of clusters. Just the number of clusters. Look at those differences. Uh, first of all, you can see that the sub of it always creates more clusters than the other. The deviation to uniformity as well, it, cre it, it creates more clusters, whereas the others are nearly the same. Of, um, especially in human human deviation to determination in balanced modularity. But how can we explain these differences? We have to compare, we need to understand why the partitions, the optimal partitions are different. So uh, to do that, we will study the impact of merging two clusters. So let's suppose that we have two subgraphs, C1 and C2, which are linked by L edges, and the sizes of uh, each uh, subgraph is R, uh, N1 and N2, and that uh, the average degree of each size are D, E of 1 and D of 2. And we will see what is the impact, the contribution uh, of each uh, criterion after the merge or the fusion of, uh, of the two clusters. So we are going to calculate that impact or the, or the contribution and we will not know the C. And we can see that C, the contribution, can be easily calculated with the function phi and phi bar defined pre uh, previously. So that's why a relational notation is, is important in this thing because we can generalize the calculation of the contribution. And and once that we can play the contribution, we'll see if it is uh, positive, that means that uh, the criterion is for the merge. Uh, the, the, uh, I mean, that it, it, it's a game. If C is negative, the criterion separates the two clusters because there is no gain. And we will see. Uh, 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 we are going to analyze criterion by criterion. So the second order criterion, that is the contribution for the second order criterion. Look at that expression. So. To, uh, for the, fi uh, for the um, fusion to take place, L, the, uh, the number of within cluster edges must be at least as half as the maximum possible of within cluster edges that can exist between the two, uh, the two subgraphs. Wh why as half? Because some other criterion is born in voting theory, so requires the absolute majority, 50%, at least the half. Okay? So, and we can see as well that uh, looking at, by looking at the contribution that this criterion does not have a resolution limit because the contribution depends only on local properties, not global properties. And uh, an inconvenient of this uh, criterion is that we, we obtain many small clusters or clicks and even the single nodes Next, the Obinsky Sarrosi criterion. So that's the expression of the contribution. This time we have alpha, and alpha, we will see the interpretation of alpha, is a minimum required of within cluster edges that uh, it can exist. Can, can exist. Uh, with Condorcet criterion, we have alpha equal to uh, one, or one uh, equal to half, 0 0.5. And here we can define alpha. Okay, and this criteria does not have a resolution limit. Next, uh, we have the new one criteria, so it's uh, the best known. <laughs> so the contribution depends on the degree distribution, which, uh, which follows a uh, power law. Uh, the criteria has a resolution limit, which is very well known, because we have M, which is a global property, so the, the contribution depends on M, on the size of the graph. And uh, we have as well that the optimal partition has no clusters with a single node. Second, uh, no, first, uh, <laughs> next. Uh, the contribution for the deviation to uniformity. So uh, we can see here that this criterion is only a particular case of the Kowinski Sadrosi criterion where alpha is equal to uh, delta. Delta is 3m divided by n squared, which is the density of uh, edges of the whole graph. So this time, 
for the uh, uh, fusion to, to, take to take place, the criterion requires that the uh, the toxic, the, the uh, wind grass density of edges of the of the two subgraphs must be at least as equal as the density of the uh, of edges of the one graph delta. And this criterion has a resolution limit because the contribution depends upon <coughs> m and n. Next, uh, uh, the contribution for the uh, deviation to and determination criterion. So uh, we can see that the contribution depends on the degree distribution and on the sizes of the, of the clusters. It has a resolution limit, of course. And uh, what we found with this criterion, uh, if we compare it to neumann German criteria, is that uh, this criteria it favors big clusters with high uh, average degree and small clusters with uh, low average degree. And so that means that the degree distribution of this cluster of each cluster uh, will tend to be more homogeneous than, than that form with the new and German criteria. And the last one, the, the contribution for the uh, balanced modularity criteria, so that's the expression. You can see that it depends upon the degree distribution, it has a resolution limit, and what's the difference with the other is that this criteria uh, behaves as a, a regulator between the new and one and the deviation to and determination criterion. Because the degree distribution of within cluster edges is more homogeneous than that form with the given level criterion, but more, more heterogeneous than that form with the undetermination, deviation to undetermination criterion. 